Welcome back ladies and gents. In this video tutorial I'll be looking at 8.1 parametric equations. 8.1 represents chapter 8 section 1 of the Pearson A-Level Maths Pure Maths Year 2 textbook. Now I'm going to actually introduce this topic by drawing any general curve. So this curve over here. Now this curve has equation y equal f of x. The equation y equal f of x, ladies and gents, connects y and x. It has a special name. It's called the Cartesian equation of the curve. Cartesian equation. Now, I'm going to pick any general point on this particular curve. Suppose I pick this point over here, x and y. I'm going to write down x as a function of t and y as a function of t. So x is equal to h of t, y is equal to g of t. We call these equations the parametric equations of the curve. Okay, so in the exam, you could be asked to convert the parametric equations of a curve into its equivalent Cartesian equation. So I'm going to go through some questions now to cover this particular concept. Right, so let's have a look at question number one. It says, find the domain range and Cartesian equation of the curve with parametric equations x equal 1 over t plus 1, y equal 1 over t minus 2, restriction t is greater than 2. I'm going to start off with the domain which represents x. My first step is to sketch x against t, for t is any real number. There it is, that's my sketch of x against t, for t is any real number. Now I'm going to restrict this particular graph for t is greater than 2. I'm going to start off by putting t equal 2 into this equation. If I put t equal 2 into this equation, I get x equal 1 over 2 plus 1, which is 1 over 3. So at t equal 2, I have x equal 1 over 3. Now, I draw a circle over here, but I don't shade it because t equal 2 is not included in this particular inequality. Right, my next step is to get rid of the part of the graph over here that represents t is less than or equal to 2. So that will be the whole of this part over here, the asymptote and this particular curve over here. And there you have it, that's my sketch of x against t for this particular restriction which is t is greater than 2. Now I want to work out the domain so I'm working out the set of values of x. What I need to do is focus on the x-axis and in particular I'm looking at this portion over here. By focusing on that portion I can see that x will be more than 0 but less than 1 over 3. and x is a real number. Okay, so now I'm going to look at the range, and the range represents y. My first step is to sketch y against t for t is any real number. Okay, now I want to restrict this particular graph for t is greater than 2. So that means I need to get rid of any part of this graph that represents t is smaller than or equal to 2. So that will be the whole of this particular curve. And there you have it. That's my sketch of y against t for this particular restriction, t is greater than 2. I want to work out the range, which represents the set of values of y. So I'm focusing on the y-axis and in particular I'm looking at this portion over here. So by focusing on that portion, I can see that y is going to be greater than 0. So y is greater than 0, y is a real number. I'm going to work out the Cartesian equation, the beautiful Cartesian equation. The Cartesian equation is just an equation that connects y and x. So what I need to do is start off with these parametric equations solve simultaneously in order to form an equation that connects y and x. 
So y is equal 1 over t minus 2, x is equal 1 over t plus 1. What I'm going to do is make t the subject in this equation and then put that t equation into the equation over here to generate an equation that connects y and x. So let me make t the subject over here. Right, so I get t equal 1 minus x all over x. I'm going to call this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2. What I need to do next is substitute 2 into equation 1 and if I do that I obtain y equal to 1 over, replace the t with 1 minus x all over x and then you've got minus 2. That there is the Cartesian equation. You don't have to simplify this particular equation because in the question it does not say give the answer in its simplest form. So you could just keep it like that. Let's have a look at question 2 now. It says find the domain range and Cartesian equation of the curve with parametric equations x equal 2 ln in bracket 5 minus 2 y equal t squared minus 5 restriction t is less than 4. I'm going to start off with the domain which represents x. My first step is to sketch x against t, so I'm going to sketch x equal to ln 5 minus t and I'm going to do this for t is any real number. Okay, so here's a graph of x equal to ln in bracket 5 minus t. Now if you are confused on how to sketch the natural logarithmic graph or even how to sketch the reciprocal graph, go to my video tutorial on sketching the natural logarithmic graph and the reciprocal graph. Now if I look at this particular graph over here, it's sketched for t is any real number. I'm going to restrict this particular graph for t is less than 4. So what I need to do is get rid of any part of that graph that represents t is greater than or equal to 4. So I'm getting rid of this asymptote and this part of the curve. And because it says t is less than 4, t equal 4 is not included. So over here I need to draw a circle and I don't shade it. And there you have it, that's my sketch of x against t for the restriction t is less than 4. Now looking at this sketch over here, I can find the domain. I need to focus on the x-axis. So in particular, I'm looking at this portion over here. By focusing on that portion, I can see that x has to be greater than 0. So x is greater than 0, and we have that x is any real number. Now I'm going to find the range which represents y. My very first step is to sketch y against t, so I'm sketching this quadratic and I'm going to sketch it for t is any real number. There you have it, that's my sketch of y equal t squared minus 5 for t is any real number. Now I'm going to restrict this graph for t is less than 4. What I need to do first of all is put t equal 4 into the equation for y. So if I put 4 inside here, I get 4 squared is 16, 16 minus 5 is 11. Over here I need to draw a circle, I don't shade it because t equal 4 is not included in this inequality. Right, what I need to do is get rid of any part of this particular graph that represents t is greater than or equal to 4, so all I do is get rid of this part here. Right, now I can work out the range, I need to focus on the y-axis, so in particular I'm looking at this portion over here. What I can see is that the range will be y is greater than or equal to minus 5, y is a real number. Ladies and gents, if you look at this part of the curve, it continues, it goes all the way up until infinity. Now I'm going to find the juicy Cartesian equation. Remember, ladies and gents, the Cartesian equation is just an equation that connects y and x. So, Cartesian equation. My very first step is to start off with these parametric equations. What I'm going to do is make t the subject in this particular equation. So this is how I do it. First of all, I divide both sides by 2. I get x over 2 equal ln in bracket 5 minus t. 
Now to get rid of the ln, I need to apply e's on both sides and e takes everything to its power. Okay, e and ln are inverses of each other so I can cancel these two out. I get e to the power x over 2 equal 5 minus t. Okay, so now I can rearrange over here and make t the subject and if I do this ladies and gents, I obtain t equal 5 minus e to the power x over 2. I can call this equation 1 and I can call this equation 2. My next step is to substitute equation 2 into equation 1 and if I do this I obtain the following result y equal 5 minus e to the power x over 2 in bracket squared minus 5 and that there is the equation that connects y and x hence we have obtained the Cartesian equation of the curve.